race. His owners love him. They brought him 3,000 miles, and he goes off at 60 to 1. That was the fastest, by the way, of all the Derby preps this year. Number two is Land Rush from Overbrook Farm of Bill Young of Kentucky, trained by Wayne Lucas, ridden by the remarkable Anhol Cordero Jr. And Land Rush was second in the Bluegrass Stakes, seventh in the Kentucky Derby, a Maryland bred, bred at Ross Valley Farm. Here is Baron DeVoe. Another Maryland bred, owned by Bayard Sharp, trained by Charlie Peoples, and ridden by Joe Rocco, a local jo jockey here, and a good one. Number four is Kentucky Jazz, the horse who two weeks ago today, on Derby Day at Churchill Downs, won a race by 11 lengths, owned by Lloyd French and uh, Joe Allen, Peter Brandt, and, and Wayne Lucas, who's the trainer, Kent DeZormo, returning home to Pimlico, hoping to win the Derby. Here is Fighting Notion number five, another Maryland horse. He's a speed horse, could lead at least for the first quarter of a mile. Let's go now to the current favorite in the race, the winner of the Kentucky Derby. Here is Francis Genter's Unbridled, ridden by Craig Perrette. Eddie Blind, who was the story starter here for about 40 years, told me he's seen all the great jockeys since the 1920s. He said that Craig Perrette's ride in the Derby was the finest he has ever seen. There is Craig on his mount, Mrs. Genner, as we said, not here today, watching back home in Minneapolis, hoping for that triple crown, the first in 12 years. Let's move along then to number seven. That'll be Summer Squall from the Dogwood Stable of 28 owners, represented by their syndicate manager, Cot Campbell. Young trainer, Neil Howard, trying to do it this time. Pat Day, who has won the Preakness once before, he on Tank's Prospect, never won the Derby, remember, including this year. Kentucky bred summer squall number eight that long shot that Al mentioned J.R.'s horizon Virginia bred races locally and number nine Mr. Prisky all of Puerto Rico watching again all the Hispanic Americans and many other Americans hoping that he can do it again Mr. Prisky rounding out the field.